Hello friends, the new case is from question distribution. The problem given is a discrete random variable x follows Poisson distribution. Find out p of x greater than or equal to 2 and p of x less than or equal to 2 if it is given that e of x that is expected value of x equals to 2.5. Also given that e raised to minus 2 equals to 0.13534 and e raised to minus 0.5 equals to 0.6065. Now friends we know that expected value is nothing but the mean of a distribution or mean of a probability distribution. So e of x equals to mean that is given to be 2.5. In case of Poisson distribution, we use sign of lambda or simply m for mean for the mean. And we know that the formula to calculate probability of any number of successes according to Poisson law is e raised to minus mean into mean raised to r upon r factorial. Now, first of all, we require to find out the probability of p of x greater than or equal to 2 and then p of x less than or equal to 2. But first of all, to substitute various values in this formula, we need the value of e raised to minus mean. Here in this case, e raised to minus mean equals to e raised to minus 2.5. But we have not been given directly the value of e raised to minus 2.5 but we have e raised values of e raised to minus 2 and e raised to minus 0.5. From our school days we know that in case of multiplication of base that is e there will be addition of powers. So to have the value of e raised to minus 2.5 we require to multiply these two values. My dear friends, many of us can mistake of addition of these two. Yes, please be careful because to get the addition of powers, we have to multiply the base. So, the process is 0.13534, that is the given value of e raised to minus 2. Multiplied by 0 0.6065, that is the given value of e raised to minus 0.5. We get 0 0.0808. 0 0.0808. That is the value of e raised to minus 2.5 or say broadly say e raised to minus mean in this particular case. Now we can make calculations. First we want the probability of x greater than or equal to 2. Now this is Poisson law. x can take value from 0 to n and we don't know the value of n. So n can be sufficiently indefinitely large. From 0 to n. 0, 1, 2 and so on up to n. But we are interested in the values greater than or equal to 2. That means 2 or more. 2 or more. That means in this case we are not interested in the value 0 and 1. So these two are complement events. Probability of say x less than or equal to 1 and probability of x greater than or equal to 2 can be 1. So if we find probability of x less than or equal to 1, we can easily find probability of x greater than or equal to 2. So let us first find out the probability of x less than or equal to 1. Broadly speaking, probability of x equals to 0 plus probability of x equals to 1. Now 
we know that in case of a Poisson distribution, probability of zero number of successes is always e raised to minus mean or say equivalent to e raised to minus mean and probability of one success will be let us take this formula and substitute the values it will be e raised to minus 2.5 into 2.5 raised to 1 divided by 1 factorial or say 1 so e raised to minus 2.5 plus e raised to minus 2.5 into 2.5 raised to 1 means 2.5 upon 1 factorial means 1. So ultimately what is going to happen? It will be something like this e raised to minus 2.5 let us take it as a common factor so e raised to minus 2.5 divide this e raised to minus 2.5 by that so it is 1 plus e raised to minus 2.5 so now we have this type of data what will happen let us substitute the values we have e raised to minus 2.5 equals to 0 0.0 8208 and the value of this bracket is 3.5 the multiplication of these two gives us 0 0.28728 this is value of p of x less than or equal to 1 now take this equation p of x less than or equal to 1 plus p of x greater than or equal to 2 equals to 1 so ultimately p of x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus p of x less than or equal to 1 that means 1 minus 0 0.28728 so ultimately we come to the answer 0 0.71272 that is probability of x greater than or equal to 2 in this particular case. I explained the entire process into two steps. First calculation of probability of x less than or equal to 1. And then on the basis of this equation, final answer of the probability of x greater than or equal to 2. After thorough understanding of these two steps, we can also find out this answer directly in one step. Just from here, write entire equation as a subtraction from 1. 1 minus all of this will give you the answer point 71272 directly. Now the second point we are interested in is probability of x less than or equal to 2. Probability of x less than or equal to 2. Again, we are going to use the same technique. What is the exact interpretation of x less than or equal to 2? Again, say the variable x can take values from 1 to n that is sufficiently large up to infinite we are interested in x less than or equal to 2 x less than or equal to 2 so we are interested in this much values only say 0 or 1 or 2 x can take value 0 or 1 or 2 so now we can say that probability of x less than or equal to 2 means probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2. Now we know that probability of 0 plus probability of 1 is 0 0.28728. So probability of x less than or equal to 2 will be 
0.28728 plus probability of 2. Now what is probability of 2? That will be e raised to minus 2.5 into 2.5 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial. That will be 0 0.08208 multiplied by 2 raised 2.5 raised to 2 means 6.25 and 2 factorial means 2. What will be the simplification of this? It is approximately 0 0.2565. If we simplify the entire step. Now ultimately x less than or equal to 2 is p of x. P of 0 plus P of 1 plus P of 2. From the previous answer, we have answer of P of 0 and P of 1 as 0 0.28728 plus now we have the answer of P of 2 that is 0 0.2565. So ultimately the final answer of the probability of less than or equal to 2 comes to 0 0.54378 In many ways we can calculate such answers If any of you select let us calculate first P of 0 then P, of, uh, then P of 1 and then P of 2 and the grand total of all these three probabilities will also be the answer of P of x less than or equal to 2. It is a matter of originality or matter of personal way of working. All the rest 